Professor Stéphane Oudard. He's the head of the oncology department at the University Hospital Georges Pompidou in Paris, France, and he will be presenting data regarding a new bone targeting drug that will delay the onset of metastasis in prostate cancer patients. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, so it's a pleasure for me to, to share with you some data on the on denosumab uh, in prostate cancer, and the subject of my talk is to speak about denosumab and uh, bone metastasis-free survival in men with castrated-resistant prostate cancer. It's a subgroup analysis from an international double-blind randomized phase three trial. So why it's important to look at bone metastasis in prostate cancer? Bone metastasis developed in nearly all men with Cassiter-resistant prostate cancer, and uh, last week I had one patient in my institution uh, uh, who had uh, pain in the back due to bone metastasis, suffering, having a bad quality of life, which has repercussion on social activity and so on. And really, it's really difficult to handle this kind of patient because you know they they, they are going to be sick at home. They have. Uh, very, you, you need to give morphine and so on. So really, if you can avoid the appearance of metastasis, I, get, I think it's really good for the patient. And um, this uh, bone meds induce, of course, pain, but also skeletal-related events, and also is associated with mortality in case of hypercalcemia and, and, and spinal compression. And also, it's both significant health and economic burdens. And development of bone metastasis in CRPC patient is dependent upon uh, this is related criteria, and we know very nicely two pronostic factors, which are uh, PC value and also the PC domain time, which can uh, allow you to predict whether or not this patient is going to have bone meds. So far, we have a new drug, Zenozumab. It's a fully human anti wrong ligand monoclonal antibody, and it's going to target very specific receptor, and this is the only agent to significantly increase bone metastasis free survival in non-metastatic CRPC patients, and this is for the first time that we present the data in Europe. And here, I would like to share with you the uh, consistency of, of effect of denosumab in this population across both demographic and disease-related subgroups. So this is uh, the, the this first three study. It's a very robust uh, first three study, international, randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled trial, looking at either denosumab 120 milligrams subcutaneous every month with calcium and vitamin D supplementation or uh, placebo. This is addressed to patients having castrated resistant prostate cancer, low level of testosterone, high risk of bone metastasis, in other words, either patient with a high PSA level or a short PC doubling time. And of course, those patients need to have no bone metastasis and no IV before spinach. The primary endpoint of this study was bone metastasis-free survival, which means time for, to first bone metastasis, either asymptomatic or symptomatic, or death on study. And second endpoint were time to first bone metastasis, meaning that time to first bone metastasis, either asymptomatic or symptomatic, and also overall survival. So this is the primary endpoint. Uh, bone metastasis free survival, which is in favor of denosumab compared to placebo, 29.5 months compared to 25.2 months, leading to a, a gain of 4.2 months in delaying the appearance of metastasis. And this corresponds to reduction of 50% uh, of the risk of the appearance of these bone meds with another ratio of 0 0.85, and the p-value, which is highly significant. And when you look at the subgroup analysis of this patient, whatever are the age, region, race, uh, histology, defined by Gleason score, and PC stratum, you know, whatever the patient characteristic, all the patient will benefit from using denosumab. Again, if you look at time to symptomatic bone metastasis, again, it's in favor of denosumab, you know, less events, 10% of events compared to 13% in the placebo arm, leading to a 33% reduction of risk, uh, with another ratio which is uh, uh, very good, 0 0.67, and of course the p-value which is highly significant, and again, you know, whatever the patient is, according to age and so on, uh, the patient benefit from using denosumab. In terms of toxicity, this drug is very well uh, tolerated. No more side effects uh, in the denosumab arm compared to the placebo arm. I just want to focus that 
those patients in the denosumab have, could have uh, more uh, uh, frequently uh, osteonecrosis of the jaw, 5% compared to 0%, and it is a cumulative incidence from year, uh, year one to year three, and then those patients receive uh, around you know, 20 cycles of, 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 of denosumab, uh, so maybe this could explain that. So to conclude, this is in Europe the first time that we present this large phase three randomized study, a robust study, which demonstrate targeting of bone microvernon significantly delays bone metastasis in men with prostate cancer and patients having high risk of metastasis defined by either PSA level uh, 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 above eight or short PSA level in time, you know, whatever the patient is, it will benefit from having denosumab. And again, similar results were obtained uh, looking at uh, symptomatic bone metastasis. So therefore, it's a really a new drug and it's hope for the patient in order to delay the appearance of bone meds in this patient population. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.